Now, if you are one of the lucky ones to drive and own an electric car, or perhaps you're thinking about making the switch, the observant ones amongst you may have noticed this name popping up, Offspray. They are rapidly making a bit of a name for themselves when it comes to rapid charging. Now I'm here in Croydon, obviously to go to the IKEA because I was running out of tea lights and also to come down to the Osprey Rapid Charging Hub to put some juice in my BMW iX. A win-win. Actually, make that a win-win-win because there are two types of rapid charger here and I'm going to show you how to use both. But before I do, make sure you subscribe to get notifications of all our latest videos and head over to our site, electrifying.com, which is full of handy explainers, reviews, and all the latest electric news. See you there. Right, so I'm gonna kick off using the lower power output charger, 75 kilowatts, and that's because everyone can use that one. Um, technically speaking, everyone can also use the 175 kilowatt power output. However, some cars are limited. Some cars might only have a capacity of charging at 50 kilowatts. Therefore, it is a waste to use the one at 175, and you're basically taking up the space and stopping someone else using it that can use that capacity. So make sure you do use the charger that is right for your car. Okay, so I've chosen the CCS connector because that is what I need for the iX. And now let's look at payment, which apparently is really simple. So there are five different ways you can pay. Debit card, credit card, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and you can also use the Octopus Electric Universe card, which I don't have. So I'm just gonna go for the good old traditional debit card. Right, let's see if this works. Swiped, processing, remove card. And finally, if you prefer to charge via an app, you can avoid all the tapping by using either the Osprey charging app or Zap Pay, which you can access via the Zap Map app. Now we've added the links in the description below. Card accepted. Successful, we have a green tick. Now that was a beautiful thing because I must say one of my pet peeves is going to a new charging point that you've never been to before and you have to set up some form of new accounts, the payment system doesn't work. That's amazing, it's actually worked. It's actually charging. If you're using the app, select the charger that you're using. The number of it is just above the screen and you could hear that beautiful sound where it just locks in place. There is juice going into the iX. There's also a really handy little screen that explains exactly what is going on with your state of charge at the moment. You can see we've been charging for four minutes already. State of battery is at 60% charge and the amount of energy, 4.39 kilowatt hours gone in so far. And that number is just gonna carry on increasing. Now, rather annoyingly, Osprey announced a whopping price increase just after we finished filming this. So we re-recorded a bit. Then it announced that it was dropping the price again. So here we are, third time lucky. Now, it's a good thing that the company reacts quickly to prices coming down as well as putting prices up. But it's difficult for us to keep up on this video. So if you want to know the latest prices and how they compare to other charging providers, then please do nip on over to the electrifying.com website. At the time I recorded this, again, the price was set at 79p per kilowatt, which is on the expensive side. That means you're only really going to use these in an emergency for a quick top up so you can get to the nearest, cheaper charger. At the moment, that means if I fill up my iX from 10 to 80%, that works out at around £40, which is a lot, but about comparable to filling a big SUV with diesel, I suppose. If you had a car with a smaller battery, such as a BMW i3, you'll be looking at around £20. Now, when it comes to stopping the charger, it's super simple. There's a little arrow that points to unlock, press that button, then you get out the card that you paid with. Stop. And there we are. Your charging has stopped, disconnect the cable, and you're good to go. Then it's just a matter of unplugging, putting the connector back, and we're done. Now, if your electric car does have the capabilities to charge faster, this has a peak output of 175 kilowatts. So this is really where I should be charging my iX. It costs the same to use as the 75 kilowatt chargers over there, and it operates in pretty much the same way. The screen looks a little different, but it's exactly the same process. 
What I do love about these points though is that you get this massive screen with loads of information about how fast you're charging, how much charge you've already put into the battery, um, the amps, the volts, but if all of that is too complicated, the most simple piece of information that you need, once again, is how much charge is in your battery. This car is currently charged at 79%. Out of all of this, the most important thing to remember is 175 kilowatts means a lot more energy can go in in a much shorter amount of time if your car can accept it. In this instance, the 75 kilowatt charger, it's gonna take a bit longer, which means it's time for me to grab a coffee. To finish, just press the stop button, unplug the connector from the car and put it back into the holder. See, told you it was gonna be easy.